Are there songs that are specifically big here as opposed to there? Well, I mean, Chasing Cars is really... I mean, Chasing Cars and maybe Run, to a certain extent, are the, the only songs that you can guarantee an audience knowing. Um, well, we've got Grey's Anatomy to thank for that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, and that's uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, you know we do thank Grey's Anatomy for that. But I mean, it's a great song is a great song. There's plenty of bands that have been on TV shows um, and I hadn't didn't have that reaction, you know. So, um, but we well, thank well, them what, very much for getting it to 25 million people in a, in the one hit. <laughs> what I find really annoying is that when you watch one of those shows and there's one of these songs that comes up at a poignant moment and you go, wow, that works perfectly with the drama that's happening on the screen. Who does it? Mm. And they never tell you. And if I had known about, you know, you guys, um, I would have said, wow, that was a really great song. I wish somebody had told me about it. it but I guess it does filter back, right? I mean, people do find out somehow. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, 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 um, it's certainly done us nothing but um, favors, mm. you know. And it sort of made the song sort of ubiquitous as well around the world, which um, maybe has, a, after a certain extent, after a certain period of time, uh, you sort of develop a kind of a backlash, or it develops a bit of a backlash, but that's to be expected, you know. It's um, Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Do you want to talk about physics? Well, let's, let's turn the cameras okay. off and I'm, get to it. I'm a little worried about the boys in, in CERN. Yeah, well, they, they said... <laughs> They, I don't think it's going to be fixed anytime soon. I don't, and whether or not it was even sabotaged, I don't know. Let's go into let's go into subterfuge as well. Maybe you know uh, we weren't meant to find the boson, the, the, the Higgs boson, the, the the Higgs boson. Yeah, the, the god the god particle as it's known. I think it's going to create an awful lot of animosity in certain circles. So who knows if it wasn't? Well, I was listening to late night radio the other night, and somebody was talking about it. You know, I hope they don't get it fixed because it's going to create all these mini black holes, and we're all going to get sucked into some other alternate universe and. I will have. The only good news is that I'll die at owing American Express all this money. Well, that that is, and you know, we we still owe, owe plenty of people a lot of money, so that's 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 one of the good things for us. To... <laughs> Let's talk about the the up to now record. Yeah. Um, so there is some new material on it. What's the new material? Um, the new material. There's going to be a single, first single off this record, off this next record. It's called "Just Say Yes," which um, we're very, very happy with. It's very different from anything we've done before. Uh, we'll let people make their own minds up about it. And then there's another couple of songs on it that are also very strange. But one is called "Give Me Strength," and the other one is called "Dark Roman Wine." Um, and uh, the the rest of the record is made up from. The five Snow Patrol albums, our favorite songs from those albums, and a few Ranger Section albums, and then a bunch of covers, including our cover of um, bon Beyonce, uh, Crazy in Love. I nearly forgot um, Beyonce's name there. That's, that's I don't know what's going on in my brain today. So you're not Kanye West, that's for sure. No, um, no, 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 he definitely remembers her name. Um, but... Uh, Yes, yeah, so uh, a lot of people have asked us in the past about you know, getting their hands on that particular cover. So we've put some things on there that, that, that fans have tried to get a, a hold of, but yeah, have a few been rarities, to... a few kind of yeah, yeah. Things. It's mostly it's mostly a, a a kind of a best of as seen by as seen by us. Mm. Um, you know, it's it's our favorite song, so it's, it's it's a history stroke best of, but it's certainly not a greatest hits because that would be um, a ludicrous and, notion and it, at this stage. And it certainly wouldn't be a contractual obligation album, would it? No, no, f certainly not. This is like to draw a line under the last 15 years to say that we, you know, because we, when we wrote Just Say Yes, it was like, it's so different from anything we've done before. We thought we really are going to have to almost start again, you know, and, uh, you know, then for another 15 years. So this is up to now. It's exactly what it says, exactly what it means. It's uh, we're not stopping for any reason whatsoever um, unless, you know, um, I don't know. It's it was an overwhelming public um, <laughs> referendum that says we have to uh, we have to stop right now. So you have a couple more dates on this current U2 tour. Then you've got five weeks on your own throughout Canada and North America. Yes, and then uh, that'll pretty much take you well, almost to Christmas, right? Um, no, that that'll that takes us sort of October. Then we go to um, the UK and Ireland for a tour. A kind of a strange tour. We're re we're reworking. It's called the rework tour. We're reworking all the sort of back catalogue songs oh. with strings and brass and 
how we're bringing a harp with us. And obviously, we're not, we don't know how to play it. But, okay, uh, okay, hang choirs on. and things like that, you know. A so, choir? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, everybody that plays the strings and the brass and, uh, and, and things like that, they have to sing too. So. Okay, so give me an example of a song that you're going to rearrange for a harp and choir. Um, okay. Well, chasing cars for a start. Just. Um, we're going to try and do songs differently each night. We're going to do um, some covers. We're going to do. We're going to have some special guests. You know. So um, there's going to be 17 people on the road as it is, um, and then plus in each city we roll up in whatever, whatever musicians that we know there. Hopefully, we'll be able to coerce them into politely coerce them into uh, into coming and joining us on stage. Well, you, you better have the Pro Tools running. I'd love to hear what some of that stuff sounds like. Yes, so would, so would I. Um, we'll, see, we'll, we'll find out when we get into the rehearsal room um, uh, mid-October, I guess. And one final thing. I guess uh, rumor is that uh, on certain stops on, on this tour that uh, there's an after-show party with some DJ action. Yeah, we DJ an awful lot. You know, we DJ all around the world, me, me, Tom and Richard, um, and uh, Richard has been with us, Richard Coburn's been with us on tour for a year now, but he's actually in Bell and Sebastian, they're on a bit of a sabbatical, working on a movie, so... Oh um, yeah, Stuart's working on his... Uh, Stuart's working on his musical, musical yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so Richard, we've had the divine pleasure, um, the nicest man in rock and roll, um, of having Richard Coburn with us, and we DJ everywhere we can, um, and we're DJing tonight, actually, in Toronto. Um, and uh, it should be fun. Give me a DJ set. What do you do? Oh, it's 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 all over the place. Funk, soul, electro, hip hop. Um, there'll not be too many indie records played. Um, uh, maybe the odd one, something with a bit of um, something with a bit of sexiness about it. Franz Ferdinand, something like that. But um, but yeah, it's generally. Um, you know, Kitsune or DFA or, you know, like sort of labels, labels like that that kind of um, that, that float our boat when we're, when we're DJing live. Where do you store your music? Is it coming out on, on, on iPod? Do you travel with a hard drive? What do you... Um, it's, it's, Tom uses Serato, Scratch, which a lot of DJs are using at the moment, yeah. but I use, generally, I'll just use CDs. So you're traveling with CDs? I'll just burn them as I go, oh. generally. Oh. Um, it's not, I mean... To our to our DJ uh, set, it's not. It's just, you don't need an awful lot of an awful lot of music. No, and if you if you do two hours and then you're out of the city the next day, you can. Yeah, I can see you don't really need all that much. Mm, yeah, no, I don't, I don't. I mean, it's better than traveling with a box of records, which uh -huh. is what we used to do. Um, Tom had this almighty, like, steel record box that he used to carry around that used to give us all hernias. So um, all he does now is carry the two records for the Serato Scratch, so that's, that's, uh, that's an awful lot lighter. Uh, we used to have, like, a dolly all right, yeah. where we'd have, like, milk crates, and, like, we'd stack them four high and then wheel them in and wheel them out, and it was just like, oh, it was yeah. just the worst. Get your fingers caught between them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff that was missing. That. No, not anymore. I dropped his record box one time, and I swear to God, I saw the look in his eyes. He was about to punch me in the face. <laughs> don't, just don't drop his records. That's, that's Tom Simpson. That's his motto. Well, thanks for coming around, and uh, enjoy the rest of this tour, um, and good luck on the reworking tour, yeah. and I, I hope some of that stuff somehow gets out. Well, we're out. definitely going to record um, one of the shows at the moment. We, I, think, I hope we do more than one, but um, we'll, we'll do one to a quality that you know, we can actually, um, we don't mind people hearing, you know, rather than you know, from, a, from a, 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 an iPhone, you know, Badly recorded at the, you know, up in the, up in the god somewhere. Yeah, in mono with lots of distortion. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks very much. Keep going.